Welcome back entrepreneurs. Are you an e-commerce, Amazon sellers, subcontractor, contractors, receiving 1099s, have clinics, service professionals, or work from home, and you are a freelancer? These are the tips that we're giving for tax and bookkeeping. That's why we are giving 10 tips enabled for you to do your taxes and do your record keeping correctly and accurately. We are going to use the word accountant because it's 10. The word accountant are, consists of 10 word, uh, ten letters. Yesterday, we started the word letter A, avoid, or it was yesterday or the previous video, avoid mixing your personal and business transactions and your business bank account. Now, we're going to go with letter what? Letter C, this is cut back on your manual entry or cut back on manual reporting. What does that mean? Who among you here still have shoe boxes? You still have paper receipts? You have tons of shoe boxes. You have tons of receipts. That is the thing in the past, especially if you're an e-commerce, especially if, if you are doing online, a lot of businesses, you need to automate and integrate, which means to say all the, your financial statements, your bank accounts should be integrated and automated directly linked into your accounting software. I think this this receipts the paper receipts I don't recommend that you have them because you have to keep them for the next three years you know that the carbon paper the carbon uh, receipt it faded when we dealt with the IRS agent before so many years ago with the bar all the receipts faded you cannot see the number you cannot see the, the, the item or the details of those transactions that's why I said innovation is the key you need to have a mobile app that can scan receipts and also make sure that your bank account and then your credit card are linked in are linked in to the accounting software that you're using but chris what is an accounting software that you can recommend well what works for us our bread and butter is quickbooks online we also use quickbooks desktop but what's the difference what can i suggest to you it depends on on how long have you been in the business if you are starting a business i do recommend that you need to have a, an online account because for the number one reason it's it's very convenient you can take it anywhere you can check your financial statements anywhere and also the ease of access whenever you are doing your tax or you have a bookkeeper or you have a tax professional you can easily give them a guest access without really going back to your house and turning on your computer and printing all those financial statements for 2021 you they can easily download on their end but it's very limited the things that they can do they cannot deposit money they cannot withdraw money from that they can just view and download the transactions that's why you want to automate and integrate it to wh whoever you're working with the only downside of uh, the only downside of the online it's limited on features uh, you have to purchase for example timesheets payroll so those are additional subscription and you're looking like in a month-to-month -month subscription with quickbooks online but it gives you more convenience now with the desktop mm, i don't really recommend desktop for because especially if you're a startup maybe if you're more than five years you could use desktop five years in the business because it has more features and i think uh they you only need to purchase it one time and renew it every year to get the current version the problem with the desktop is uh although it is more comprehensive they have more accounting uh, features the the downside is the man maintenance on your computer because you have to do system update you need to have an it if you don't know what uh, how to maintain how to put an antivirus so those are the other things that you need whenever you have this quickbooks desktop again guys please please try to automate and integrate everything because this is the time that you have to be organized more than ever because the irs is hiring eighty-seven thousand agents running after your money running after small businesses like you e-commerce amazon sellers 1099 subcontractors if you keep doing this and you're not comfortable we are here to help we're giving away 30 minute free consultation to do a tax and bookkeeping virtual we do this bundle because any type of audit from the internal revenue service requires a good record giving financial statements for the past three years you have to remember if you did your financials your reporting wrong from the past three years definitely the succeeding years are also wrong that's the reason why the irs can open one two even three years of audit because they know that there's a pattern and that pattern leads to penalty and that penalty 
means box up money to the Internal Revenue Service. So what are you waiting for? Book your 30-minute free consultation by clicking the link below. And by the way, if you would like to purchase the QuickBooks online, we are also affiliated with them. The link is also below. Again, thank you guys. If you like this, please click share and subscribe today. Again, I'm Christopher, entrepreneur, founder of the Outsource Virtual Tax and Bookkeeping service here in texas what are you waiting for contact us today not tomorrow but today stay safe and see you on the next video bye